Hey guys, we're back with more Mad Max. Uh, when we last left off, we had just finished getting the body for our car and the harpoon to add on to it. Get out of here and keep going. Now, I guess uh, Chum's gonna talk. So, this game, like I mentioned before, is an open world game and it has a number of things that we can do in the open world. I won't be doing all of them, I will be doing some of them. Um, the start of this mission introduces two or three of those things, and you can see them in the top, right? Uh, there's camps and scarecrows. Scarecrows are little, uh, well, they're scarecrows. They, they up the enemy control of the area. The map is broken up into each of these little territories. You can see them when I go over them with the cursor. And in the top right, uh, each one has a level. Every level we lower a territory down by will unlock things for us. So it's in our best interest to do as many of these as we can. I most likely will do some off screen. But this mission has us knocking down some scarecrows. So let's do that. Now you have a number of options to take these down. Like Max said, you can uh, you can ram into him, like so, and that'll take it down. And as you can see, it lowers the control down quite a bit because this is a small area. I do want to grab this grab. I'm going right here. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with the PS4 controller for this. I've always been more of a fan of the PS4 controller over the Xbox 360 controller, but. Uh, the prompts are different, so that may fuck me up a little bit. I haven't decided. Uh, but as I was saying, we can ram into them as we just did. Another vulgar monument to the Carnivites. And we have other options as well. We go ahead and uh, fire our harpoon that we just built. We can create a tow cable and just yank it down. No damage, no risk. Much more efficient. Uh, there's some scarecrows that kind of have to ram, and some of them you have to yank down. It's it's kind of dependent on the kind of scarecrow. But these little ones, you can do either or. Fun little detail about the car. Uh, Mad Max is set in Australia, so the driver's seat's on the right. Now right over here, you can see that little hand icon on the mini-map. This is a camp. Uh, we can go and raid this place for some scrap. Well, over here, we might as well. And these are just simple wastelanders. They're real easy to beat up. Not a problem at all, even with our Somewhat lacking combat skills at the moment. It's a decent chunk of scrap we get from these guys, so it's definitely worth stealing from them. Where's the rest of it? And that is absolutely disgusting. Ah! We've completed a challenge. Let me see if it lets me explain to you guys what they are. You can see we just leveled up from uh, Roadkill Level 1 to Level 2, and that gave us a little icon. Um, if you remember the Mystic dude that we saw earlier, we can trade those to him for various perks. We will do that. Additionally... Ah, uh, I can't... Oh, I can. Okay. So we've got the challenges. On the right, you can see our level. Uh, we can deliver Griffa tokens to Griffa to increase Max's abilities. But by completing uh, the rank on the right, you unlock a bunch of shit for Max, which I can't show you just yet, but uh, I will be able to soon. But let's go get that last Scarecrow so the game will stop yelling at me about it. I will admit some embarrassment about my driving last episode. I'm not used to this car anymore. It's been a little while since I touched this game, so it wasn't uh, driving quite as well as I should be able to. But I'm sure I'll pick it back up. So this is just the game telling us, hey, you can take him down with the harpoon. And there's also quick fire. You just tap LB, tap RB. Fires off. And there we go. We're 
any scrap from that? No. Scout it out. Oh, yes, yes. Let's see if they've nasty surprises and wait for the righteous. Right, so now that we've done that, there's a couple other things that are visible. Game wants us to head over here, and you'll see why in just a moment. But we need to get up to this lookout point. You may have noticed it off to the left there. What's the purpose of these camps? Oil, a crew, pumped from the very ground, and sent in convoys to be refined and gasolined in gas town. So, as Chum was saying, um, Scrotus, the guy we fought in the intro, there's a number of these little camps set up to essentially derrick oil out of the ground. In them are very useful things, not the least of which is scrap. We need to scout them out to figure out a way in. They've got a number of defenses, like the flame pipe you can see there. They've also got some snipers up. And war criers. Those guys are fun. We'll see what they are in just a moment. That's everything. So let's go take this camp out. This first one's pretty easy. Camp is light defenses. I'll deal with them before entering. Where's my car? There's my car. Got where I parked. Thankfully, we have all the tools we need to take out those defenses in front of the camp. It should be pretty simple as long as we keep some speed going. Okay, is there a handbrake? Find out. Do do hurry evade ah control. Handbrake, okay, yes there is. Thought so, I just couldn't remember what the button was for it. Handbrake. We're pretty useful. Well, thankfully, time slows down a bit when you uh, you aim with your harpoon. So if you're moving at high speed, you can very quickly snap the harpoon to whatever you want to shoot and just yank it right off. And there go the defenses. Told you, easy. So next problem, the gate. Let's rip it right off. Come on. There we go. God, that's satisfying every time. There's a lot of weight to it. Feels really good. Sit tight. So as you can see, these camps have a ton of scrap and a bunch of other things that we can gather up, but they're well defended inside. That is a war crier. If we let him live, a uh, meter will fill at the top, as it says here, and we'll buff everybody I'm fighting. So let's try to take these guys out real quick. And there we go, that was our first perfect counter. You can see time slowed down for just a sec there. And we did a whole bunch of extra damage to the guy we countered off of. These guys are buffed, you can see they're glowing red, they'll attack faster, they'll hit harder. But, thankfully they're all dead. So you have a couple options to take out that war crier. I could have just shot him with the shotgun right off the bat. But if you let him live, he has some uh, fairly amusing lines that he will say. But let's take him down. And he just explodes. So this was the camp that my car was taken into at the very beginning of the game. Unfortunately, my car is no longer here. But we do have this picture of Max's family. Will I, will I ever come back? Very sad. Gotta get to that place and destroy it. Oh, let's get a little bit of revenge and fuck up this camp. Storms rising. What's up, buddy? 
Get fucked up. These guys, you want to dodge and counter them. Otherwise, you can't really hit them. You gotta kind of take them off guard. They've all got shivs on them, so you want to be very careful fighting them because they can really mess you up. Ooh, this is an unfortunate timing. This is a sandstorm. We want to get into some kind of shelter as possible. Where am I meant to go here, game? There's no... Am I blind? I am blind. Thankfully, I have this nice building to hang out in. Then storms are fun. Um, they will obviously impair your vision, but if you're out in the open during them and you're in your car, for example, they'll hurl giant chunks of shit at you and just really mess you up. Um, there is an upside to them, though. You can find scrap boxes in sandstorms, which will have large amounts of scrap if your car is good enough to survive. Ours right now isn't even close to armored enough to last any length of time in this kind of sandstorm. So, here's a Skirtus Insignia, it's just another little collectible that we can smash. We don't really get anything for it except for completing challenges, but they're good to grab if we see them. Did I miss anything up here? It does turn. Nope. Also, as you saw there, lightning happens during these sandstorms and it can hit you. You want to be very careful. I am going to search this place top to bottom for every possible bit of scrap I can find. I'd like to clear it out entirely because it's so early in the game. We need everything we can get. Ammo, scrap, anything at all. It will all be very helpful to us upgrading the car and trying to survive combat. Uh, another interesting thing you may or may not have seen yet. I don't know if it happened, but Max has got that brace on his leg you can see there. If you fall from a high enough height, he'll limp for a bit. You won't necessarily take any damage, but you'll be slowed down and you can't sprint until he stops limping. Him again. I believe Griffa was up there, the mystical dude. So I'm pretty sure we've missed some scrap already, unfortunately, but, uh, okay. And remember how I, I, I mentioned this camp was for gathering oil? All over the place down here, and we kind of got to wade through it. Which is really unpleasant to think about, honestly. That can't feel nice. So, that Scrotus Insignia can't be reached on foot, so you kind of have to use the shotgun shell, but they're nice enough to give you one right here for it. There's more than one. Unfortunately, we can only hold three in our ammo belt. Why Max can't just put the extra shells in his pocket, I don't know, but hey, gamification. So you can tell we're getting closer to the oil to? derricks. Ever crooked has led you straight to here. Our work, yours and mine, must soon commence. Come find me when your spirit is ready. So that was Griffa. We'll uh never really learn quite who he is, but we'll we'll see him pretty often. He's useful. He's a good guy. Right, so, just like the Batman Arkham games and other games that use this same combat system, you kind of got an extra Berserker or Fury mode, as they call it in this game. The more damage you do and the more lengthy your combo gets, the more Fury you build up. Once you hit Max Fury mode, you'll get extra bonus damage and the ability to instant kill enemies in certain states. 
perfect parries, long combos, all those sorts of things will boost your fury meter, which is in the top right there. Let's see if I can get it going here to demonstrate. So as you can see, once you're in fury, Max starts doing some really badass shit, like straight up suplexes. It's pretty cool. Ah, that guy hit me in the middle of an animation. Um, while you're in fury, that meter will deplete in the top right. But you can fill it up as you go, and you'll get whatever you uh, earned after fury ends. So it'll kind of fill itself back up. You can chain it like that. And we unlocked a bunch of challenges just by doing well in that, uh, that combat there. Get this insignia here. We'll take care of that oil pump in a second. And there's a reason I'm waiting. I want to grab this stuff that's around here. We did miss a bunch of scrap, unfortunately. Or some of it, at least. But we'll grab what's accessible. Because, boy, we're going to need a lot of it. Um... Kudos to the devs, I have to say. They hit a lot of stuff in this game very well. Unless you know where certain things are, it's genuinely tough to find them at times. So, Max, please don't thank you. Sometimes you can get stuck in those doors. But like we saw with that gate last episode, we can grab um, these fuel cans. We can use them to blow up the oil pumps here. It'll happen automatically. But it's cool to watch. I can't decide if this is incredibly American because things are exploding or not American at all because we're wasting oil. But once you clear out these camps and dismantle them, um, friends will move in and they'll regularly deliver you a small amount of scrap over time. So yeah, we missed three scrap pieces that we can go back through and look for. So that gave us a massive control bonus over this territory. We look on the map, now totally green and good and all cleared out. Zero enemy control over Chum Bucket's territory. So we're off to a good start. Get out of here. Head up here and take the zip line we saw earlier. If we don't fall off of it like an idiot. <laughs> Sorry, Max. Your legs kind of liked that. Probably because I was moving instead of stopping underneath it. It's contextual, so. Yeah, I, I don't really know where the rest of the scrap is in this camp. Ah, there's some here. Like I said, some of this stuff is fairly well hidden. And you won't find all of it by just there's taking the path story. straight through like I did. See, you have your secret reasons. <laughs> I'll follow you, because I think fate favors, old chum. So, let's go talk to Griffa. Finally, to uh, see what he can offer us. When you need old chum, point skywards. So, Chum has just given us a flare gun, and what that'll allow us to do is if uh, we're not near the car and we need the car, we can use the flare gun to call for it. Pretty neat little mechanic, and uh, Chum Bucket's actually not a bad driver. Stay here. Something I gotta do. You can see the little Griffa icon up there. He's hanging out waiting for us, and this is where things are gonna get a little weird. So, uh, buckle up for an acid trip. You can already see things getting all blown out and oversaturated. Griffa sort of exudes a localized 
presence. It's very strange. I quite like him, though. of a ruined past you say you seek the plains of silence but do you not wander them right now the remains of your life a perpetual flight an escape from all that is human until one day the plains of silence end and you begin you have a purpose in this life my friend although you fear to dream it but pain will come, much more pain, before this purpose to you is made manifest. You know nothing of me. Look behind you, a dune after dune of drifting, half-forgotten terrors. You flee them always, these past phantoms, and the madness that crawls inside. You've come to Griffith for a reason, deep inside. Twisted around horrors from which you run lies your strength. Griffith can help. Help you venture down to where you daren't go yourself. And lay bare your true promise. So, this is the Griffa menu. We will be seeing a lot of this menu. It is an upgrade system not for our car, but for Max himself. Now, some of these upgrades are more useful than others. I believe there's one of them that I usually just straight up ignore. Let's take a look at what they are. We've got five tokens. Up at the top here, we've got longevity, which increases Max's maximum health. Intuition. Uh, increases our ability to use melee weapons you can find those sometimes this is the one i don't usually waste points on because i don't really like the melee weapons in the game uh you've got munitions which will increase uh your ability to find more ammo it basically increases your luck when you go looking for ammo uh this will increase the amount of time you spend in fury mode it's channeling Attunement will uh, increase damage with a melee weapon. We'll probably skip that one as well. This will lower our vehicle fuel consumption. This one is incredibly useful. Volition will increase our ability to cry or more scrap when looting. We're going to grab that right away. This one will let us acquire more water from water sources. This one will increase our legend level by one. That's super useful. We're going to grab that. This one will increase the amount of health we gain from food. That's all of them. So, so far we've put a point into uh, Judgment, which will increase our Legend rank, and we point a point into Volition, which will um, increase our scap, Scrap Gathering. We've got three tokens left. I want to go ahead and grab Maximum Health. We're going to go ahead and grab Channeling for Fury Mode. And we're going to grab, uh, hmm, do I want Ammo or Water? Or Fuel Consumption? Uh, let's grab water because in the long run that'll be useful. Um, thankfully, it lets you undo everything if you fucked up placing something, but we'll go ahead and confirm. So, when we come to, Griffa is no longer with us. Max is kind of just doubled over and fucked up. But, uh, I want to take a walk. Oh, I guess we can't see it. Where was he sitting when we met him? Because his paintings that he had around him were pretty interesting. If you get a chance to actually look at them. Unfortunately, I think we'll have to wait until the next time we see him before we can do that. You can go see him pretty much at any point, as long as you have tokens to spend. That's trouble. So, two cars just drove by in the bottom there. Probably looking for us. No, he hasn't. Jum has disappeared. So let's see if he wants to pop back up. Is our flare gun here? Here he comes. Any trouble? I saw bad guy huh? sneaking, spying, wanting to steal her away from us. I had to 
take her somewhere safe. No time to waste then. We've a car to build. Uh, yes, 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 we do. So uh, we've done righteous work. Okay, I, I guess you're we gonna have continue what we need talking to install the nitrous boost. So we've completed Chum Bucket's area, which allows us to uh, get more car upgrades. First thing the game wants us to get is nitro. Nitro is obvious. It's it's a straight up boost. So that's fairly cheap. It's only thirty five scrap. So let's grab it. Now let's see. Do we have anything else we can grab? Need. I think so. I'm just double checking because sometimes it won't always show the new icon. Can we use our hood ornaments? Though? They keep yelling at us. Oh, 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 yes, yes, nitro installed. Now let's baptize her and pull the holy sled. I know just the place. So you can see on the right there above our weapon icon, we've got those two bars. That's our nitro. Go figure out how to use it. Pretty cool. Hell, Nitro is always cool. It's the same as it is in most games. It's just straight up a brief speed boost. So uh, it's still good to have. So, jumping in the car is a little bit more nuanced than I talked about before. Let me explain while Chum Bucket repairs things. If you land on your wheels straight, you will take less damage, and you will often keep rolling. I fucked it up there, so we took a little bit of damage. The less of your wheels you land on, the more damage you take. It's it's fairly linear in that sense. Or logarithmic, I can call it. So, Nitro has another bonus, which increases your ramming damage when you use it to hit another car. We can use it to just straight fuck these guys up. Alright, come on, buddy. Nice try. Go alongside me here. The, uh, the AI likes to hover just behind you near your quarter panels to make sure you can't side ram them too well. This guy is being pretty tricky. There we go, a little damage to him. Let's see, can we yank anything off his car? Nope. Oh, that's a cliff. That's a cliff. Ow. I was hoping he'd go flying off it, but we weren't that lucky. There we go. Good night. So, as it says, we need a V8 for this car. The Z6 we've got just isn't powerful enough, and I agree. That's the last of them. We really should get back to my sanctum. Drop any scrap, he did. Oh, we've got the max upgrade menu. I'll show you that in a second. But whenever you kill a car, it'll drop scrap. Just a little bit, but still. I have. Oh, you're still alive, huh? Let's have some fun with this guy. Oh, that killed him outright. <laughs> nice try, bud. Come here. Come on. Wow. One punch, huh? We'll see. So, another thing that uh, I may not have mentioned, when you get out of your car, Chum Bucket will actually repair it for you. Good like that. Container. Oh. Um, so if the car is damaged after a fight, you can just hop out while you collect all your scrap that you got, and uh, Chum will patch it up for you. Do we have a fuel tank in the back right now? No. I'm going to take this one. How much fuel it has in it. Cool. Good to have. 
let's see. The game wants us to go back to Chubb's hideout next, but we're gonna head over here to the scrap location first. Oh right, the max menu. Let me show you guys that. So just like the car has a bunch of upgrades that you can buy, Max himself does too. But in order to unlock these, we need to increase our legend rank that I showed you earlier. So let's see what we've got. First thing we can get is we can straight up take off the shirt that he's got if we'd like to. Um, but that lowers our defense. You can see Max's stats in the We're going to give that a pass for now. Anything else open? Not yet. However, we do have combat skills that we buy. These do cost scrap. Everything, all upgrades cost scrap. But we can get a chain finisher. We can also get a parry attack for weapons, which is very good. Let us defend against armed strikes. Another thing we can buy that's not marked is the crowbar, called a jimmy bar here. It's useful for breaking into uh, enemy camps and stuff, breaking down doors that we couldn't kick down. I'd very much like to have that. We'll go ahead and buy it now. Let's see, what do you guys have for me? Is there anybody even here? Oh, it's one of these. Right, so these camps are... Oh, actually, I don't have to do it here. That's a shame. Sometimes you'll come across camps with entrances that are blocked off. You've got to use the Magnum Opus's harpoon to kind of rip them open so you can get into them. I guess Max doesn't want to use the ladder this time. All good though. We can just hop down. There's no real falling damage in this game. I think I might have taken a little bit, but... Whoa! Fuck! Fuck off! Fighting in these tight hallways is rough. And there's our first melee weapon. Just show you how it works. We've got a number of swings with it. Chain with it just like our fists. But it will break over time. And there's the reason I bought the uh, the pry bar. Grab this up here. We can pry open this door with a, uh, a button mash. And get what's behind it. This means a whole lot for someone. Right, so we've got a note here from before the uh, the bombs dropped or whatever happened. I forget exactly what happened in Mad Max lore. Uh, it says, Jensen, neighbors have gone nuts. After the water started receding, they joined some sect. Uh, someone was killed. I took the dogs and headed to Marla's. Phones are down. Can't reach you. Come quick. Amika. And sometimes Max will comment on these, but not always. This place is all cleared out. We've got us a little extra. Are we done here? We are done. Max is fairly slow going up ladders. Probably because of his leg. Back to Chum Bucket's hideout. Continue upgrading our car. We've pretty much cleared this section of the map top to bottom. There's not really anything else here for us. Which means we need to head over there. Right, let's see what we got going on. Uh, I want to top off my health room. With the water things down here. Because we did take a little damage. This, uh, this water still will replenish itself periodically. This will fill up again oh. the water soon. Guess it's empty right now. Oh well. Probably should have checked before doing that, honestly. I like to keep my canteen full. I'm kind of obsessive about it at times. <laughs> right, Chum, what do you got for us? Yeah, 
Saint. Oh, Saint. Come and see. Come and see, oh, Saint. Uh, yes, she's... With these hands and the blessings of the sacred Silenoi, she's come to life. My sweet angel, come bust you. What did I tell you? V8, not V6. You're uh, exactly. Eight is the magic number. Uh, you and me, we're gonna land a big chief. A bona fide bad boy. Huh? 429 cubic inches, 460 horses, holy rolling. Nobody could touch you on the blacktop day or night, right? You'd be evergreen, eternal, road tripping with the gods. <laughs> Where is it? Gastown. Well, let's go there. No, wait, wait, wait. You can't just go to Gastown. Oh, we need armor on my angel for that run. Yeah, it's gonna take a long time, too. I'd probably need to get a couple of. Kevin! <sighs> Get in the car! Wait! Wait! It's my tabernacle! It just wouldn't be a Mad Max game if everything doesn't go wrong. Let's get the hell out of here. I don't know what Chum was thinking, putting that tube on the roof that just leads right down inside, but... We're going the wrong way, goddammit. Nice thing about Nitro is it can get us back up to full speed real quick if we mess up. And it, uh, it recharges fairly quick. So these guys are war boys for Stank Gum. He's another big boss like Scrotus. And presumably he's come to attack us because we've been attacking Scrotus's camps. There he is. We have the car. We need to go. Unfortunately, Max is right. There's yeah, nothing else like for it. us here, and we need so to get out of here before they see us. But let's check out Stank Gun's bio. I tear. I peel the skin off the weak. I wear their faces. I shave their skulls. Out here, I do mask Scrotus's true name. But the pleasure of the peel is all mine! Yeah, hi Yuri Lowenthal, how you doing? Uh, so, like it says, Stank Gum is one of Scrotus' favorite warriors. He's renowned for his sadistic and brutal methods. After Scrotus was wounded by Max, Stank Gum was sent out to the Dead Barons to wreak havoc and lay claim to all goods available out there. Stank Gum carried out his task the overzealous letter. War boys started a reign of terror which forever changed the region. I'll let you read the rest of this. I'll slowly scroll down, but um, it's mostly just a bio. Dude's kind of a psycho. Well, not even kind of. He's definitely psycho. But uh, we're gonna have to deal with him before long. Of the great white, we can make a deal. Trust me, it'll kill us. Doesn't sound safe. That the best we can do. I don't think we have a choice, say. So, game wants us to head to Jeet's stronghold, but before we do... Uh, this part of the Great White is Guys, can Jeet's I get two seconds to talk here, seriously? Like everywhere else in this realm, it's been overrun by Scrotus. War boy camps and patrols are everywhere. So as I was saying, the game wants us to head to Jeet's, but before we do, we're going to do a few things on the way. First things first, this balloon here. These balloons are neat. You got to ride up into them and they'll open up the map for you and show you where you are. Stay. They'll also, Go as God. it says there, unlock fast travel. Go 
Just like the little side camps, there's sometimes things here to find. You're a man on a snowmobile. Project Blackout. Stage 5 snowmobile. We're not going down with the rest. If anyone even comes to our BOL, I'll personally fucking dismember them. Find Sarah. So it began. And we get a level up for finding that because we found three of those little relics. Take this fuel can and uh, top off our car real quick. Oh shit, I probably shouldn't have done that now that I think about it. We need this can. I forgot for a second what this is used for. Can. Where does it go? This. Not for sure that we. I guess maybe this one is full by default? Yeah, it's full. Okay. Usually you have to fill these balloons up to get them to rise, and they burn quite a bit of fuel. Um. Oh, there it is. Okay. I thought <laughs> I thought the top of the balloon disappeared. Then. Pretty neat uh, wasteland hot air balloon design. It looks rugged, but uh, it's definitely cobbled together. It's cool. Once you get up here, it'll uh, reveal the region for you. We're in the Black Maws. There's another reason to come up here. We can use our binoculars up here to spot things, including camps, various other dangers that we'll need to destroy to lower the control rating of the region. And there's Jeet's stronghold over there that we're uh, gonna go check out next. Everything marked off first. Missing something, I'm pretty sure it closes the binoculars for you. Uh, done. Tabernacle still exploding. Am I done? I may be done. I think so. Anyway, now we've got fast travel. We can come back here from any point. Just fast travel straight to this vantage point. Not super useful, but hey, at least we can do it. There's a few things I'd like to knock out, and there is a reason to take out these scarecrows and such. The lower the control of the region is, um, like the lower you get that level, you, you unlock things by clearing out the, uh, the region control. Like I said, may do some of that off screen, but uh, we'll see. Ooh. I can get a hold of this. That is a scrapulence. Carries a large amount of scrap, but in order for us to take it, we need to get the driver out of it. Let's see if we can do that without beating it up too much. Come on, chump. Reload. Ooh, we needed to take out the driver's door. We took out the wrong door. Get back here. Yank him right out of his car. Beautiful. I'll quickly take out this sniper. Not have done that. That was my mistake. Hard to get one. Perhaps reasonable black pillars are skilled in such metallurgy. Are you saying you can build me one? If Jeet has the parts I need, 
I saw one dismantled once. It's not so complex. So we're gonna leave um dumb there for the minute, because I wanna get this thing over to Jeets. So since we're in a scrotus car, um, the enemies won't detect us immediately. They'll think we're one of them. There's a bit of a disguise system in this game. It's somewhat underused, but it is cool. Bit of a drive over to Jeets, unfortunately, but uh, should be able to get there safely. But since we're not in the uh, magnum opus, we don't have uh, any of Chum's abilities. We can't repair, we can't use our harpoon. So we've got to be a bit careful. This thing is pretty quick, though. And damn if the engine doesn't sound good. I love the engine and the car noises in this game. So, since we're in a Scrotus car, see that sniper isn't shooting at us immediately. He definitely knows we're there, but he doesn't think we're an enemy. We have so many camps and stuff to clear out. Jesus. This place is just chock full. It is all very useful. That is a very car. We're going to come back for that. Let's get into Jeets, though, and end the episode here. All right. Okay, so in order to get into Jeets, I need to work this thing over to the side. And we'll call Chum. Teleports your car right over to you. Hey, bud. It's bigger than I remember. Well, this Jeet recognize you? That's We're a force to be feared around these parts. We Welcome to Jeet's Stronghold, folks. This is where we're going to be sitting for quite a while. Um, but I'm going to call the episode here. And next time we'll talk to Jeet and we'll get started in this area. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, leave a comment, subscribe, all the YouTube crap. You know how it goes. I would appreciate the support. See you next time. Bye.